the draft here at Tony Speedway. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor Mintz has pulled it off the racetrack. So not a good start for Possession One Motorsports during this California Classic. The Candidate California Classic presented by Mastercraft Saber. Man, what a great battle we have going on back here. When you accidentally missed John Woodside for Brandon Lovrush, I was agreeing with you because Love, or Woodside is still mid-pack. Yeah. And we, we're used to seeing him up front, you know, same as Holloway. Yeah, Holloway was another case where it was just, oh, yeah. That was for the lead, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Toanitis. See, this is what I'm talking about. We have passed the halfway point in this race. So the question is, who's going to get it? Battle continues on for third as well. Davis and Irving. And hey, how about a battle for fifth? And a huge battle for whatever that is. Ninth. I don't know what to watch. But McGrady just got in the back of Woodside. Yes, he did. Battles for side by side for the lead. Three wide for ninth, tenth. Three car battle for everything. Do you think we're going to see payback right here? Uh, yep. Yeah. So do I. Carlos, at least a little knock on the back door. A reminder of, of what could come. Derek Thorne is perfectly holding off that 77 car right now. Well, Minch got into the back of Woodside. Slut. Yeah, that was <laughs> Again, side by side for the lead. Tommy's getting his exercise right now. Oh, yeah. Three wide in the back coming out of turn number four. But look at this battle side by side-ish. It seems like Nick Joannidis, one of his strong points racing here, is he has the ability to race his car down low. But what I've not seen him do yet is try and get that position way down low as you see him side by side again for the lead. What do you think? We're going to see contact, Tommy? I think these drivers are handling their machines well enough to where if it is contact, it's either someone drove it in too hard or bottoming out up here on the roof. You want to check out going into turn number one right now. Tony McRae drifts up on Dylan Kwasniewski. Kyle McGrady there. Woodside looking to the inside. Holy guacamole. Look at a battle back here. Battle for last. Ronnie Beecher, Benjamin Mann. Battle for first. Big Joannitis, Derek Thorne. Oh, contact. Out of turn two, Joannitis in the left rear of Derek Thorne. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Dude, I tell you what, that's not the last bit of contact we're going to see. 25 laps to go. We've reached lap 50. And I'm really watching closely to this battle right here we got going everywhere. Jeffrey. What? These two must be going side by side for the last 20 laps now. Absolutely. Travis Irving, Brandon Davis. You want to talk about two cars that are even right now. Love Rock just made a power move on the apron, by the way. Power move. He had a power burrito from the burrito factory. against Kwasniewski, Woodside looking to the inside going down the back. You know, me saying Woodside looking to the inside, it just sounds funny. <laughs> it's like one of those things that should flow, but it's Whoa. contact. Oh, and uh, remember the last time we saw the leaders? Oh, look back here. They're, uh, they caught up to each other, by the way. But lap traffic in there, trying to take out each other. Tommy, what do you watch right now? They're going out like it's the last lap for 10th. Love Rock, dude, he is still moving up. But keep an eye on what you're watching.
I think Nick Joannidis is getting ready to do the bump and run to Derek Thorne. I just, I just get that feeling. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I threw this to you all night long, but there were three wide going into turn three. Oh, he's pushing him. Oh, one sideways. Very good. This is probably one of the best late model races oh I've ever seen. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it is. Who to watch, Jeffrey? I'd say Rodney Peter and Benjamin Mayhem. Look at that pack going into the turn number three. McGrady in the middle. Woodside. These guys cannot break away from each other. Slunt is really working on that wheel right now. Back up front, though. Back up front. I'm, I'm telling you, hopefully these... Oh, Thorn got really high coming out of the turn. Oh, and by the way, they're still battling for third. I don't think that battle's going to end. No. They're going to pull out of the track side by side. Hopefully, hopefully after the race. Closing in on 15 laps to go. Joe and Itis, Derek Thorne, they've been the two drivers racing it out for the lead this entire race. And Jeffrey, I think you'll agree with me on this point. Every track has its classic race. Yes. Mason Red has the October class. Uh huh. Thorne has the fall class. Yep. Try to speed away. Today marks the first annual California class. Dude, and I love it, but you know what? It doesn't love it right now. Mother Nature. Oh, no. We were talking about how there was moisture a little bit earlier on. It was really light, though. No big deal, but right now, a little bit heavier moisture. 15 laps to go, and look at the battle for third working past the lap traffic. Fiera and Mayhem staying on the inside a little bit, kind of. Sure, why not? <laughs> Joe Knight is making the move. Still on the inside. How long can we maintain like this, Tommy? The rain is definitely getting heavier. But I don't think the leaders care. <laughs> I don't think anyone cares in the late model. No. Don't fight it out in the rain as well. I don't think it's, it's all or nothing now. <laughs> That's right. Kwasniewski pulling it off. Up 63 marks the end of his race. <laughs> I think Kwasniewski saw it's raining and he forgot to put the wipers on. Oh, oh is that a little contact? That was. I'm telling you, Tommy, I want to see this race come to an end. Well, I mean, I, I love it. I don't want to see that. But I definitely want to see it come to its fruition. And I think... No, never mind. Wait. Uh -huh. Davis, no, no, never mind. No, no, no. <laughs> I what thought it was going to be something right there. No. What are you thinking? Rain is definitely getting heavier. <laughs> now it's a race to the rain, I believe. <laughs> Here's a bunch of TV. Standing outside in the rain. Holding the electronics in her hand <laughs> under the wet sky. If they can keep up like they're going though, maybe just maybe this will blow through. Please. Nine laps to go. Who's it gonna be, Jeffrey? It looks like they're up, oh, yellow flag comes Caution. out. Moisture just got a little bit too much for us. Derek Thorne, your leader. Caution. They revert back to lap 65. Look, watch Joe and Idaho right now. I don't know why, I just had that feeling. Never mind, I think we're good. Um, I mean, as far as talking about the rain, it's a consistent, it's not yeah, heavy. It's not it. a heavy downpour. It's more like a light, or it's more like a heavy sprinkle. Yeah, I don't know though, Jeffrey. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Minch looks like he had a right front flat. That's what took him out of it. Uh, as far as the good news, you know, one way you can uh, keep an eye on weather is looking at the lights around you, and I can still see pretty well. So whatever this is, I, I am confidently hoping that it's something that's not going to remain. I think it's something that's going to blow through. 
The worst part of this is I have to go pee really bad and the rain is peeing on me. <laughs> so we'll be back, hopefully for the restart. Go ahead. Check, 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 check. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, you see the checkered and the yellow both came out at the same time. What does this mean? Well, it means Derek Thorne is the winner of the 75 Lapper Auto Club Late Model race here at the California Classic, Toyota Speedway at Irwindale. Nick Joe and I did dude, he put on such a fight. Oh yes he did, that uh, was great racing and I wish we could have seen how this would have shaped out. But we just counted the cautions all the way to the checkers. Now, you gotta get the show on the road, you know, this well, isn't the only yeah. race. There is good news. What's that, Jeffrey? Looking at the lights, it's snowing again. Clear high. We'll be back for the Pepsi Super Late Model main event and donuts for Derek. Hey, there we go. Congratulations to Derek Thorne. And he still has another race to go. Oh, yes, he does. So maybe he can two peak, double down. Ooh. Or as you'd like to call it, repeat. Repeat. <laughs> All right. Pepsi Super Late Models up next.